Oh, dude. We doing a technical video today? Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to. Yeah? Let's get to it. What do you think? I, I think so. I mean, it looks like you got a lot going on. I get technical every day. Yeah. <laughs> Release occasionally, at least. <laughs> occasionally, yeah. <laughs> but for him, he'll never... <laughs> He'll never release, and then they said it makes him frustrated. Hey everyone, this is Dan at SP Motorsport. Today we're going to do a tech video instead of a product spotlight. Uh, kind of going over an option that we have for our Tetrid pump setups that we make for the Mustang and the F-150. We're in the shop today uh, putting some pumps together for a GT500 and an F-150 here. And uh, we kind of wanted to go over this. Uh, option that we offer because we really like it and it makes it a lot easier uh, to assemble these pumps and it's also just way more reliable and it's a really inexpensive upgrade so basically what I'm going to go over real quick is instead of using a rubber style connection on the pump like this where you're going to thread it in you're gonna run this up in here, screw it in here, and then you're gonna use, you know, it's a hose barb style fitting like this, instead of using that, and then having to stick the pump on to another hose clamp, you don't have to do that. We're, we're eliminating that. And the issue with uh, these hoses, the one major issue with running just your standard rubber hoses is they, they don't do that well with the 85. So if you're running, you know, more corrosive fuel, um, the rubber hoses are more prone to deteriorating. Um, they can split, they can cause issues down the road. It's all stuff that you're not really going to want to have to deal with. So what we ended up coming up with is a, a solution. There's other things on the market that are semi-similar, but we wanted something even simpler. And we designed it. Here's one installed already on the pump. But we designed it to replace that hose and it also sets the perfect length on the pump so there's no guessing there's no trimming you just screw it on so what we're going to kind of do i'm going to show you here up close how to assemble this it's very simple it does take a pick and some general tools to get the the o-ring and everything to seat because we're essentially converting a hose bar bend to more of an o-ring style seal so what we'll do here, we'll go over here under the light and I'll kind of show you guys how to do this. Like I said, you are going to need a pick and it does take a little bit of finesse. So you'll go ahead and throw, throw the included O-ring on the end of the pump. Oh, not too far. You'll put it, you'll actually put it in between the barbs like that. And then what you'll do when you go to put this on, it does have a chamfer in it. You want to just kind of sit it onto the o-ring give it a slight bit of pressure you don't want to give it too much pressure because what happens is it's just going to start riding the o-ring down off of this because it is a barb so what you'll do is you'll take the a pick or something small and you'll basically just take and push the o-ring you know take care not to obviously cut the o-ring obviously we don't want to cut it because it's not going to seal but if you take like the flat edge of the pick and just kind of work the o-ring up around this and then the other thing you have to keep in mind is keep like pressure on this as you're doing that because you don't want it to obviously push that off and then you'll just kind of work your way around like that and as i said just keep light pressure on it and that chamfer will eventually allow that to work up into the the coupler itself as you can see right there we'll get this pushed in that wee little bit there so there it went the coupler's all the way in and then what you'll do is you'll just kind of rock that a little bit and then twist and spin it and then it'll go right down on there and that's it so now your your o-ring everything's assembled and then we have retaining rings that go in behind that like this it's a little C ring so you'll go ahead and just pop that in there 
and we provide you with little cap screws. Just drop it in like so. I gotta find my Allen wrench here. That. And then the nice thing is, it keeps it, since it's an O-ring, it keeps it movable. So you can spin this around to gain access to the part. I'm sure you're just getting a shot of my fingers here. There we go. And then once you get it tight like that, all you have to do is literally take a wrench. You'll throw it on the end of the nut here to hold it, and then you can come through and you'll just snug them up. You don't have to get really aggressive with them because obviously you can strip them out pretty easy. And then just snug them up like that, and you're all set. And this is completely movable. And then you can see there's not there's almost no side to side play or in and out, but you'll feel a tiny bit. But the nice thing is when you go to assemble your pump now, you're literally just gonna throw this up in here like this. Line your hole up. Take your wrench and you apply a little bit of pressure to the bottom of the pump. And then as you turn this, it'll literally line itself right up and just thread right in. And you're not dealing with any additional clamps or anything that you're gonna have to worry about uh, causing a reliability issue with the car or breaking down because the rubber's gonna have a problem with the hose, etc. So, and then the other nice thing is, is these these specific couplers for our Tetra are already set to the proper height for the uh, pump assembly. So you'll have the proper depth in the tank and you're not gonna have to deal with uh, making any adjust, you know, taking it in and out of the tank to make your adjustments. You're, you're already all set and ready to go. And you'll just snug that down and you're done. So obviously you can run four of these, three, two, whatever. That's the nice thing about these hats. You can kind of run them however, however you want, any, any format you want, any power level. Um, makes it pretty convenient. But we kind of just wanted to show uh, how to assemble the O-ring and get everything put together. Uh, you kind of just go over that little part. Like I said, it's optional on all of our Tetra pumps for the uh, F-150 and the Mustang platforms, 500 GT, all that. So if you're on the website, there's information on there. If you have questions or anything like that, just let us know.